Now that the fun of rototilling is behind us, we need to put a little sweat equity in, and that is by taking and contouring this whole turf area. Now, you're gonna have to get yourself either a landscape rake, a metal rake, or if you don't have any one of those, a regular leaf rake will work as well. And you're gonna take and move the soil exactly how you want your finish grade to be. As you're taking and raking all around, you're gonna come across things like roots, dead grass, now even tree roots, as well as rocks. You need to take and remove those as you go along. And the reasons for that is because you want your, you want your, your grass to grab onto really good soil, not that stuff. Once everything is contoured, bust yourself out a water roller. Now you're not gonna have to buy one of these things. You can go down to your local rental yard and get one. And they're so simple to use. There's an area that you could take and you could fill it up and fill it all the way up with water. Now what you do is to, you walk backwards and forwards on your turf area, whatever's easiest for you. And the reason why we do this, that we want to compact the soil. Now we're not gonna take and compact it so hard to where it is like concrete. What we're gonna do is compact it enough so that we're not sinking down to our knees in the soil because it's too soft. So now that it is all nice and rolled out and everything is just pretty, you can come by now and put the magic sauce on there. And that is the starter fertilizer. Put it in either a walk behind spreader, a little handheld whirly gig, or if you think that you're good enough to do it by hand, do so. Then once the whole area has the sparkly fertilizer nuggets on there, we can start the process of installing the turf. <laughs> 